people just don't people just don't see yeah, the music work. ladies and gentlemen it's really involved Orlando it's Florida I Smackdown I didn't see you know it. I never saw let me it ask you, you viewing really this at home a question what, it's like. what happens when you back a snake into a corner well, if you haven't come up with the answer yet, it spits venom and it strikes. Mamba Ant, with a sermon of his own, and then the words of his partner, Kenneth Kilgore, basically declaring war on all of Tip Bill for, I can't count on my fingers how many times, but damn it, this man is the scourge not only of the AWF, but of Tip Bill. And that is going to prove true today, tonight. And who he's facing for this matchup. Agent A, you can take it away. Well, Mamba Ant is facing C. Lou after two weeks ago. Even though Mamba Ant suffered the hands of a beatdown after the gauntlet, he had enough energy in him to give a one last middle finger to tip those offers. That is how he got here. He could have just said no. He could have just walked away. And he wanted to make a point out of Tip Bill. And, well, now, you know, he's, I guess he's not a, a he's a guy that just, he's, a, as, he's sporadic. He's sporadic as they come. And, well, now C. Lou will face Mamba Ant in no cold star. That reminds you of Roddy Piper. He's just a, a pot stirrer. You, you're around him and you just, you know, you get aggravated and you get angry because he just knows how to press all the buttons, how to prick at the needles. And C. Lou is no different. Good luck to C. Lou because, well, I guess my man had some common sense to not wear C. Lou's spray painted over logo. Oh my goodness. Days have mercy. I wish. That fire was a bit closer so Mamba Ant could do his best reenactment of Michael Jackson in a Pepsi commercial. You are a despicable human being. And well, Gold Stacks, Hope Ashlew is just somewhere watching. She's probably somewhere watching with her legs crossed, wine glass in hand, and looking forward to watching, you know, C. Lou is 1-0 and o against Mamba Ant. He walked in to this company, his debut match, taking the Renegade Championship off of the then Undisputed Championship on his way down the mountain. And C. Lou is a man who tiptastic, as far as tiptastic is concerned, Ash Lou is the right hand of Tip Bill USA. That would, I, I think, not to say of maybe effectively make Tip C. Lou the third, but I don't know what the ranking system is. The point is, you can clearly see Mamba Ant steps in the wrong yard. If Ash Lou is the first lady of Tipville, would that make C. Lou the second gentleman? Whatever he's the first, second, third, fourth gentleman, let me tell you, he was a renegade champion and he was a damn good one. And he took it from the man that he's about to face. No holds barred matchup. Listen, this was not going to be pretty, ladies and gentlemen. Let me give you a disclaimer. This is going to get ugly, especially between two men who have a grudge as big as the state's of here, Florida. As far as things go for Mamba Ant, his signature baseball bat is in the hands of the world's heavyweight champion. So good luck to him. Oh, Hope Mamba Ant. Oh, wow. Hope, hope we can get creative. He got creative. He proved me wrong immediately. Tornado DDT off the springboard. He's looking to, he's looking to get a giant swing here, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa. C. Lou is six foot seven, six eight, mind you. And Mamba Ant, nice strike. Plans his move. Pulls him in. Whoa! Rolls him right there. These butterfly, butterfly suplexes rolling with them and a trio of them. It's a nice catch as catch can almost maneuver there. And oh, her big right hand misses. Silu brings him oh, around and Jesus. Away. Went for that elbow right couldn't there. have been any faster. Oh! Pop up drop face first. Shout out to the time that C. Lou caught the first bit of airtime super kicker. Mama. Oh, Lord have mercy. Mama wow. Ant with these strikes. You see his hands are taped up. He's got the kick pads. He's not here to, to grapple too much. This is not going to be a technical masterpiece. He's here to, he's here to swing hands 
as they would say, Silu as well. You know, he's always ready, prepared. So they have a similar styles, and that's why they clash. Now, uh, uh, no, 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 no pun intended there. But that's what that's that's what they have such a collision. And once again, Silu tried it. Mamba and oh, and that's blood. That is blood that I spot. I think the jaw must have went up into the mouth, busted it open, and you seen the blood from his face. Oh, I know where the one, two, three count, no rope break to save the day. Count from Silu. Talk about surprises. Out of the ring, they chant. Fight for it. Oh, and whoa, that is whoa, the whoa, least whoa, surprising whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a light bulb. Oh, a what? Oh, my oh. goodness. A light tube. Did he just make a light tube over Mama Ant's back? And he's crawling, trying to get up. Mama with a right hand. Right hand back to him. Look at Silu bleeding across the face. It's no wonder he's the guy that brought out a goddamn light tube. The right hands back and forth from two men. Again, they're familiar familiar with each other. There's respect that goes both ways. There once was the Mamba Ant. Once, uh, once, once people to put on that Tipville USA shirt or sign, it seems to get real petty for What's no up? reason. Uh, bad, bad, just, bad, just hay haymakers back and forth between this young man and this damn near married man and this married man. This is a, this is a, this is a gen battle of the generation so to say here we go right hands from both gentlemen back and forth back and forth back and forth who's gonna win the collision and it's c lu sending mama and on a timber course a man with everything to gain against a man who can lose nothing at least c. it feels like a, it c lu has a son watching at home and damn it you know he won he, he oh my god you know he wants to tell his son he made things right whoa one, no, not, not even a one count. Not and even a one count. Speaking of which, parents, if you're watching at home, put the kids to bed, tuck them in tight, and tell them not to watch this broadcast because a light tube just got broken over Mamba Ant's back and C. Lou Mamba Ant from the forehead. attacking the surgically repaired knees of uh, Achilles of C. Lou. The man has tore his ACL prior to, and that is what halted athletics as far as it went for a while. And here he is, again, with, with, in the AWF, Miracle and So, Mamba Ant targeting something. And then an RKO on the shatters of the tube, hooks the leg. One, two, say your prayers. Oh, talk about it, talk about it. And seeing Mamba Ant slap on a wrestling hold in this kind of situation is like seeing a unicorn strut down the streets of Southside Chicago, Illinois. But things don't happen. But it's happening here on the AWF. Mamba Ant applies wrestling holds. In this sort of matchup. Like, never mind. In never a no mind. holds barred. Have you seen the things that Mamba Ant has done with his body? That is true, but he still applies a wrestling hold. Damn near every... He, he has a, ma a move called the Super Vice. What are we doing here? In here. See, Lou, they're right beside us. They're right beside us. You can just... Oh! Oh, and it's going to get ugly, ladies and gentlemen. I am... Who oh God! Watch out! Watch out! Okay, Mama Ant getting out of my office. Might chair. not care about if that chair hits either of us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Knowledge. Ten crack commandments. One, two, three. Count all over, Mama Ant. You over here rapping while my life is in danger. Our life is in danger. The right freaking by the. I, I'm sitting here too, bastard. You say our life, but it doesn't seem like you, you, you care that much. Listen, I hope. Spider-Man is my favorite hero through a re for a reason. He talks through with the things that scare him. Damn it! Got six foot four, six eight athletes over here. You think I'm not afraid of this? Drag oh my hands God! To see Lou's forehead. Mama forehead got his blood stain. Answering the question and the, the the prayers of the masses. They wanted tables and right hand. See Lou Bulldog. There see we Lou. He, he he's been. On the, nah, he, he, he's underrated. He's underrated in the AWF, I can say. My God, have mercy. Look at him go. So he's first on that metal trash can. Renegade champion he once was. And, the, and, and, he, and, and damn it, Mamba Ant. It, it might be game over. It might be game over. 
Yeah, buddy boy. I uh, I I can't say I'm the most confident in him. Off the ropes. Oh, oh it looked like he tried a three count. He oh, got it. He got it. He damn well got it. Mama Ant flying. Mama Ant seeing One, stars. Two. Oh, when by the grace of God, that is not TJ, ladies and gentlemen. Mama Ant gets back up. Not Cam Tilbury either. To fight another day. Well, I, I didn't he's say it was. He's an atheist. He's an atheist. You're right here. Right hands. Right hands. Several around an array of them. Mamba. What does he have here in store? No. The only God I know is, is the good Lord. Blitz took a baseball bat of his. He got a new one. But we know that the he good got Lord. A new we understand that the good Lord is not present here in this building because if he was, he'd stop this contest immediately. Mamba Ant is swinging it barbed wire wrapped baseball bat. Who the and hell C. does Lewis he think bleeding. he is? C. Lewis, now he's, oh, he's been bleeding. And now he's bleeding all over the floor. Does he think he's Terry Funk? My God. A barbed wire bat, you kidding me? Mamba. He's got red suplexes. Painting the canvas with C. Lou's blood. This is exactly with Mamba Ant's blood that painted the canvas a couple of weeks ago. And now, oh my god! Go for the cover! Go for the cover! That barbed wire bat right on his his that, his head. Thank God he has body armor, or else his back would just be torn to shreds. Here comes C. Lou hoisting up Mamba Ant. Fireman's carry a desperate escape by C. Lou, but Mamba Ant. Is well in the driver's seat. He's gonna escape, letting C. Lou do a nice dive right there. Looked like he was trying to get a nice touchdown when the game is tied. Oh my good God! I've got no clue how Charles Robinson is maintaining his composure calling this matchup. Well, listen, he's had his fair share of many of things, but C. Lou, oh man, picking up on the end on the outside. This is where the things can tie, can turn. It is the gulag floor. And in the Ringo C. Lou. His, oh my god. Mom, and, and interestingly enough, wants no parts of the outside. There, there's, there's still a second match of the night. There is still a card. Oh! oh he threw the check. Hey! He grabbed the bat! My man caught him with a drop kick. And I'm surprised my man had to strip back those floor mats and expose the concrete. My man is not here to just beat C. Lou. He's here to, to exterminate him. And I think as far as it concerns anyone in typical USA, that might be the plan of AK-170. And for old man, he's daring C. Lou to come his way. He's daring C. Lou to get out of the ring. Look at the blood on the mat. Look at that. And he does get out of the ring and slides in. Baited him out and then, oh! That's straight to the between the eyes. C. Lou is this what you think of these people that oh my I, I never would have thought the ones uh, uh, it, it, it's in Orlando Florida Orlando Florida is torn between cheering for the barbarism then seeing here tonight Mamba and Mamba Mamba, Mamba 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 who's doing it and Stop he's what about to his repertoire he's about Stop to add what you're doing. to that rap seat Mamba and if you have a conscious if you have anything in that head of yours, oh my god! Welcome to prime time through the table. C. Lou's out of the ring and Maho. Barbed wire bat in hand. I don't think Mommy Ann has any intention of letting C. Lou. Whoa, 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 Hey, 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 man. Hey. You know, you, 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 have to, you know, usually mom, and you, you usually you are talking a lot of bad things about him at a moment like this. Isn't yeah, 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 There yeah, is yeah, no yeah, greater yeah. trepidation that I've ever felt in my broadcasting career than mom and aunt walking toward me with a barbed wire back. And here, C. Lou can be your savior. Wax mom and aunt with the bat. He finally got. Oh, oh no! I'm speechless. I'm horrifyingly speechless. Mamba Ant, STF. He hit an RKO after getting hit with the, the same bat that has C. Lou bleeding all over the ring. You have to understand, Mamba Ant, he lives for this sort of thing. He's a sick freak. He's a sicko. Walking C. Lou 
to the ropes. He enjoys this kind of environment. Oh, mid oh come on. World's best cutter, RKO from Mamba Ant, the superstar. But this man is creating a horror scene. It's a horror movie. Indian Deathlock, STF combo. Silu powering out. Mamba Ant, the ever so the submission specialist in this no holds barred match. He can straight just choke Silu out, but he's, he's choosing to be. Well, he, yeah, I think God he's not doing that. But listen. Tried the belly to belly. My man with an eye rake. Let's go down the laundry list of bad things. You can do in a matchup. Oh my goodness. Reverse STO. Look, look how he slithers back up. Just like his namesake. A snake. A slithering foot. There you go, Silu. It's all shit. Silu barely can see. I mean, the oh my gosh. And now he probably can't at all. Silu just got the worst of it. Crimson mask. Pulls his legs away from the ropes. Running Mama through in. his vision. A definite concussion by that super stomp. And a submission victory for Mamba Amp. Here in the in one of the most damnedest matches I have seen on this brand. One and one is the count between Look at these that. two gentlemen. And I have a feeling that we're going to see these two fight very soon. Very near. I am extremely lucky that not one ounce of blood from C. Lou got on my new three-piece suit. That's what you're worried about? Among other things. Mamba and oh my god, look at his eyes. Ladies and gentlemen. Look at his eyes. There's nothing there. Whatever you want to believe. He's sick. Whatever you want to believe about a wrestling god, a wrestling atheist, whatever. I know one thing's for sure. There is a devil walking through these hallways. And his name is Mamba Ant. He has a world heavyweight title match at End of Days, May 26th, ladies and gentlemen, from MSG. More on that later. We have more SmackDown up next.